And for me and my community, uh, Dr. Ryan, uh, listening here today, uh, could you give a message of hope in our call for change? Um, well, as I said uh, before, change nothing and nothing changes. So we have to make change. Because change is constant in life if, you, if we want to move on. Uh, so, yes, uh, I would. Uh, but, you know, uh, hope springs eternal. Um, I'm a natural optimist. I, 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 I find uh, that uh, every morning I get up, and some mornings I get up, and I'm sure it's the same for you. I think that there's some mornings you get up and you think, oh, my God, I can't do this again. You know, mm. uh, this is just too much. Uh, there's too much to do. We're not doing, we're not making progress. And then something inside me clicks and says, no, because uh, we have to keep hoping. We have to keep moving. We just have to keep trying. And I think that's a human condition. That's not just me. That's you and so many other people. So if enough people get out of bed every day and try to just change something, then everything will change. Yeah. And that means everyone has to change. Everyone in your community, in, 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 in the broader settled community, everyone has to make a move. Everyone has to do something to change the status quo. Um, and then things will change. Everything will change when everybody changes. And that's everybody. And we can't, you, you, you can't look outside your community for the solutions and neither can people outside your community look to you to provide all the solutions. There has to be a partnership. And there has to be a thing where everybody moves. There, I mean, there are lots of social problems in every community. And you know more than anything that some of those social problems are generated internally within a community. Some are forced and imposed. Some are amplified by external factors. But there are things within every community that can move and change. Everybody needs to take action from young to old, inside a community, outside that community. And I believe I, I'm an incurable, hopeless, hopeless optimist. Um, uh, and I have, I, have, I have great friends in the traveler community in Ireland. And I, I, I grew up with many friends and some of the most intelligent, smart, funniest people I know. Uh, uh, and uh, from my perspective, uh, we should be proud of our traveler community as a nation. That's what I, we should feel. We should feel that that diversity enhances us. We should not be othering people. Uh, and, you know, we've heard all those pejorative terms over the years about travelers and this and travelers that. That's not the reality I've experienced. Uh, mm. You are uh, a, proud, a proud people who have much to contribute to Irish society and much to give. And I think you should have the hope. And having representation like you and the others in, in this movement and so many other movements around Ireland, this is, this is what we need, I think, as a community and a society. So I have great hope participating in this and hoping that everybody makes a change, not just you or me or others pushing for big changes, but that everybody gets up in the morning and says, I can change. I can change my attitude. I can change my behavior. I can change what I do today about this issue. And, and if we do, I think things will change.